Tomorrow. mini sweep for two, two games under 500. They, they own the Philadelphia Phillies winning nine in a row. Let's yeah. get this thing on the calendar a little more often. It's almost like uh, the, uh, you know, the, 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 the Suns against the Mavs. They had like, a, they won like nine straight or 11 straight or something like that going into uh, their series. Uh, you know, then obviously you're able to, 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 to get, get rid of that and exercise that demon. Uh, but the Rangers with a uh, good little mini sweep, I guess they would call that. It is a sweep. Break out the brooms, it's man. A sweep. It's a sweep of some kind. Could be a could be a you know carpet sweeper. It's a two game sweep. Uh, and now the scheduling opportunity that I've been talking about. You get three at home against the Nationals. You go on the road for three against Kansas City. Mm, three against the Mets. You somehow yeah. <laughs> try and survive that with New York playing fantastic baseball. All of New York playing fantastic baseball. Uh, and then after the Mets, you get the Orioles, Twins, Oakland, Seattle. Look at that. All of your series except for one. I'm going to have to look at the team that has the highest win total outside of the New York Mets. Uh, you're looking at the Nationals. Disappointing again. They're 20 games back. They're dead last in the National League East. So here we go. Three games at home. Win, win two out of three at least. Uh, yeah, that's that, that's the goal. You know, take your two out of three uh, and move on. This has been a a good last couple of games for this team. Uh, you know, the pitching was pretty good. You know, very good last night. Uh, so this was you know, you know Gray was you know, he has been up and down, um, mostly up I think. Uh, but you know, considering what they. Uh, what they pay, you know, I think he's been you know halfway decent, and last night was 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 a pretty good start from him. And not just the pitching, the hitting as well, with uh, uh, Joe DiMaggio and and Pete Rose in the Rangers lineup, as oh, Corey oh. Seager and Adolis Garcia are on five game hitting streaks. Two hits for Corey. Yeah, I'll so take that. Twenty five wins for the Nats, Ugh. then twenty five wins for Kansas City, then you get the Mets, the Orioles. Look like the Yankees compared to the first two series that you have. The Orioles have 31 wins. <laughs> they've, but they've been halfway decent, man. I gave them credit. Three of your next four series are against dead last teams. You kidding me? There you go. And then Minnesota looks like the defending champs against that schedule. They have their 38 and 32 before you take on Oakland and Seattle. Oakland and Seattle, fourth and fifth. In the West, so every single one of your series, except for two, against dead last, dead last place teams. Man, that's great. And you know, just if you can, if you can find a way, if you've got six games against the Mets and Twins, if you can find a way to split those, you know, that would be that would be fantastic. Because you know, the, the 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 likelihood is is that when they're done with this stretch, they're probably going to be about they're they're two games under right now. Oh, uh, was that about a, about a, about an eighteen game stretch? You just you just listed off there. I, I, I would I would think that by the All Star break, that the way the schedule shakes out, this team should be over five hundred. They should be about four to five games over five hundred. They're two games under now. I think they should be about four to five games over five hundred by the All Star break. That'd be like if I was going to sit there and if, I, if I'm if I'm Woody, I put a goal together. Let's get to be let's get to five games over five hundred by the All Star break. They are back in second place in the AL West. Uh, Ten games behind the Astros, one game ahead of the Angels, and three games ahead of Seattle. 